four concrete reasons to read the Quran every day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Amin with Sira Masters, helping you to develop the Muslim mindset for success. And I think I'm much more animated now when I'm standing up, so I might continue this actually. I feel much more natural when I'm speaking to you. This video today, um, it's about reading the Quran. You know, if you know me, if you follow, if you subscribe, you know that I'm always talking about reading the Quran daily. You need to do that, even if it's five minutes, even if it's one page, you need to be doing that on a regular basis. But why is that? Right. It's not, you know, sometimes uh, people might say it's good. We know it's good. It's clear that it's good. It's true. But let me dive into some real concrete reasons why you should be reading the Quran and the benefits that I find when reading daily. Firstly, it makes me, it reminds me of what is important in life. What is important? Because you go through life, you're going to come up with challenges against you, right? Barriers, frustrations, um, heartbreak, whatever death around you, poverty, you need to remember that that is not truly the most important thing. The most important thing is um, how Allah, uh, if Allah is pleased with you or not, your fate forever and ever, ever, are you going to Jahannam or Jannah? That is what's important, the pleasure of Allah, trying the best, asking for forgiveness. This is truly, truly what's important. Now, we will not discard completely uh, the, the good things of this life and trying to achieve a lot in the, the, in the dunya with the right intention. We don't throw that aside. But sometimes when you're feeling low, when something bad happens, you need a reminder that it doesn't matter too much. It's not the end of the world. Ever heard of that? It's not the end of the world. For a Muslim, the end of the world means judgment day, means Jannah, Jahannam. Right. So the end of the world for us would be to go to Jahannam. Right. And so as long as you're Muslim, as long as you're worshipping Allah to your, you know, to your ability, the minimum, believing in him, the correct beliefs, praying, etc., asking for forgiveness. Then inshallah, you're in Jannah. So no matter what happened with your job, with your family, with your relationships, with your um, who knows, right, health, health is a big one. Um, you're, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. So it's a good reminder. If you're reading this daily in the Quran and it comes up again, Allah designed the Quran to be read daily, to be a perfect reminder for everything that goes on in our lives. And Allah knew what happens back then, thousand years ago, and today, and in 500 years. So it's perfectly designed for that, for that reminder. Um, so yeah, it, when you're reading it daily and something bad happens, you can remind yourself. That's the first thing. Second thing is, it makes you aware of just how the world works, right? You know, the, we, there's this um, term or this concept of uh, the sunnah of Allah, the sunan of Allah, uh, the way that Allah designed the world to work in a natural way. If you know history, if you know your history, you're going to see these trends play out over thousands of years. The same cycles happen again and again because this is the, the, the nature that Allah placed in the world and in human beings. That people will get great power and great wealth and great knowledge and they'll get arrogant and then they fall and then that happens a few hundred years later, etc. We see this, you know, even the basics of history, we see this happening. Right. And that includes some uh, Muslim kind of uh, empires or, or kingdoms and stuff. They got arrogant. They, they, they forgot. Right. They forgot that what they needed. And so that's just one example of the awareness you get from reading the Quran. You remember these Sunan of Allah. You remember that Allah created the sky and the heaven and the earth and all of that. So when you're walking, you, you see a cloud, you're like, wow. Right. You think about it. You're aware of the world around you. Right, you're aware of the world around you. Um, the other thing you're aware of is you, you Allah, and His uh, status uh, in in regards to you. You know Allah is your Creator. You know He knows better than you. You know that He wants the best for you. You know that He's forgiving. You know that He is Al Qawi, Al Jabbar. You know He's powerful and He's strong. And so when you see certain phenomena in nature, you know that it's Allah who did that. So it just keeps you aware. Uh, number three would be that your Iman will go up, your knowledge will go up. And that's not like a, an abstract thing to say, oh, it will just go up, right? When you're, I believe it was Ibn Taymiyyah, he said, in order for your Iman to increase, you need two things. You need 
ibadah, worship, and you need more knowledge of Allah and His Sharia and His Quran and everything. So by reading the Quran, you're kind of doing both, right? You're, you're worshipping Allah and you're gaining knowledge uh, of Allah, right? Because Allah describes Himself, He describes His Sharia, and he, it's His word as well. You're learning about His words um, from the Quran. And so your Iman will elevate because of that. So it's only natural from gaining these little insights, even if it's a little bit because you don't understand too much, little by little your email is actually on its way up. And not to mention it's an act of worship and so it will make your heart uh, softer. And that's the fourth point. Uh, not just will your iman go up and doing worship, but your heart is being cleansed, right? You, you do sins, I do sins, it's natural, right? But by reading the Quran daily, we're getting that cleanse. We're, we're re being reminded how great Allah is and therefore to disobey Him is a big deal and therefore Allah will forgive us if we ask and therefore we should ask. It's that reminder and so it will naturally, if you do it every day, it will naturally uh, lead to you asking for forgiveness, doing less sins, having more shame, right? Shame. I'm ashamed to do a sin because Allah is... Uh, Allah is uh, al wadud you know, Allah is so loving, Allah is Ar-Rahman, how can I uh, disobey him when he did all this for me, right? It's awareness again, it is your heart being clean, um, having that shame, uh, getting, go, getting closer to the fitrah, right, to your original disposition that, you know, uh, thousands of years after uh, the creation of man, we kind of strayed a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and now we reach today where a lot of us, we're quite far astray. So it's bringing you back, right? It's bringing you back. It's bringing you back to the nature of, you know, in the Quran it says, you know, Allah made the, the sheep and the cows for you to ride on, for you to eat. That is natural. That is nature. Uh, he made the honey and it's got good, uh, Allah made the bees and it creates honey and that's, that's good for, for, for drinking, for consuming. So these are, again, it returns you to nature. Uh, Ibrahim slaughtering or going to slaughter his son and then the sheep being slaughtered, right? Slaughtering sheep, again, it's natural, it's fitrah. That we are the we are the kind of uh, vicegerents or whatever we we're controlling this world. Allah made us like that. We're the superior creation, and we can control the world. And we need to be accountable for that. And it's normal that we use what is here within reason for our survival and even enjoyment, right? So it brings you back. It cleanses your heart to bring you back to that fitra as well. So these are the four four reasons. Um, and the four benefits you'll find in reading the Quran every single day. And I think for a lot of us, number one is enough. You know, right? When things, bad things happen, it's a reminder of what is truly important in, in life. Uh, so I think this is a nice video because I'm standing out, I'm feeling real good. Um, let me know what you thought of the video and uh, suggestions for future. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, inshallah. Thanks for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in how to design your mindset and design your lifestyle as a Muslim so you can get everything you want done, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for at least weekly videos and check out the website right there where you can download free mindset resources and look at our blog with all the articles and stuff there. Uh, check it out and uh, see you.